Here we have two Nexus 5596s and we have them together in a VPC as you see on the back. We're using the management interface for the pure, pure Keep Alive link and we're using these four 10 gig interfaces on the front here and here for the peer link. Along with that we have two cables here and two cables here that go through this big bundle of wires back to these fexes and what we did is configured an active-active setup on this first fex all the way at the back um, for, for full redundancy between the two 5596s. <clears throat> now obviously we could have run all four of these to one or the other but in this scenario customer required that each top of rack 2k was going to be fully redundant back to the 25500s. So what I have here is I have a ping running and just now I'm going to demonstrate how Let's see if I can set this there. How when I unplug and you know what I might need to come back over here. So good pings and this is my laptop plugged into here. What I'm going to do is these top two go to the bottom Nexus 5K and these two go to the top. So we'll represent loss of connectivity on the one and as you see we have no ping loss. We'll represent loss on the one Nexus and we haven't lost a ping. We'll even lose connectivity on this one and we only have one 10 gig link going back to one of the two pairs of Nexuses here. And as you see, we have full connectivity still. Let's plug all these back in. That represents the loss of one chassis and the second link on the other chassis or the other 5K. And what we want to do here is we want to wait a second for the effects to come back online on the second one. It says it's online sequencing. And it's online. So now what we can do is we can unplug these two and we should still have full connectivity. And as you see when we did that we lost one ping but it came back instantly. Um, this has been a demonstration of active-active full redundancy on Nexus 2Ks.